I've been using the Huawei Nova 3i for about a month now and I must say this is one of the best mid-range smartphones I have ever used. It's beautiful, it's got an excellent screen, it's got a really good camera and it's got wonderful performance with its Kirin 710 processor. Hey guys, this is Henry Nyo and you're welcome to my full review of the Huawei Nova 3i. This video was sponsored by Binomo an innovative trading platform that's ideal for earning passive income via the internet by trading Forex. So how does Binomo work? On signing on to the Binomo platform, you're presented with a demo account funded with $1,000. This demo account allows you practice on Binomo's leading trading platform and helps you better understand how to use the platform. You're presented with a simple and convenient interface in which you can trade by picking one of two options. Will the prices go up or will they go down? or you can use the more advanced mode of buying or selling. If any of this confuses you, Binome has got your back by providing a section on the platform where you can view video tutorials and improve your trading skills. After practicing on the platform's demo account, you can go ahead and fund your real account with actual money. And get this, you also stand the opportunity to double your deposit if you use the coupon code HENRYNEW while funding. So if you deposit $50, you get $100. Binomo is regulated by the Financial Commission, an organization that regulates international online brokerage firms. They guarantee quality of service and also ensures the quick withdrawal of money you've earned. And it's easy to withdraw your money. Simply click on cashier and then click on withdrawal. Fill the withdrawal form and soon you'll be smiling to the bank. If you'd like to learn more about Binomo and its services, click on the link in the description of this video to get started and learn more on the Binomo platform. build, the screen, the battery, the performance of this device leaves me smiling to myself when I realize that this is actually a $280 smartphone. It's impressively built like a flagship device and I must give kudos to Huawei for this. Huawei's Mate 20 Pro has been touted as the best looking smartphone of 2018 by some YouTubers and the Nova 3i follows its design ideology. Clean modern design with aluminium sandwiched between two panes of glass slabs. Its glass back feels amazing and you just find yourself looking at the device over and over. Button placement and port placements all feel natural. It's got a 3.5mm headphone jack which is always welcome and a quite disappointing micro USB charging port. The 6.3 inch 1080p Full HD Plus LCD screen is beautiful. I found watching videos on this screen really satisfying and it's quite elongated. And I also found that reaching for the top of the screen requires some maneuvering. Movies and games all look great on the 1080p display of the Nova 3i. And talking about games on the Huawei Nova 3i, the high silicon carrying 710 and the Mali G51 GPU this device comes with are quite efficient at playing resource heavy games albeit at medium graphics settings. It's got GPU turbo technology that improves gaming performance. It ran all the games I threw at it without any issues and the phone mostly stayed just a bit warm. The included 3340 mAh battery is impressive, delivering just about a day of battery life which in my opinion is fair. A 9V fast charger is bundled with the phone but do not expect quick charge 3 or 4 like super fast charging. Charging the 3400mAh battery takes about 2 hours and a few minutes to go from 0 to 100% with the included charger. One of the same bay is a hybrid bay allowing you to either use a second SIM or insert a memory card of up to 256GB extra storage just in case the built-in 128GB storage isn't enough for you. There's also 4GB of RAM to handle multitasking and those heavyweight apps. As for software on the Nova 3i, the Nova 3i runs an Android Oreo 8.1 with Huawei's Emotion UI 8.1 skin over Android. EMUI in my opinion is the major con with this device. Don't get me wrong, it works great and there are some things that Huawei does really well but these are the following things that I think Huawei should change or introduce something different for. Number one, the icons are too big on EMUI and there's no option to reduce them. Two, there's no option to swipe down to show the notification panel. Instead, you're presented with a system search that frankly, I never use. 
Three, the navigation keys. You're pretty much stuck with the navigation keys since Huawei does not have a gesture-based navigation on this launcher. It comes with an option called single key navigation, which is unintuitive to say the least. The Nova 3i comes with four cameras, two at the back and two in front. And these, in my opinion, are the next best thing about this device after the screen and build. The 16 plus 2 megapixel rear camera and the 24 plus 2 selfie cameras are really impressive. I always got great photos every time I hit the shutter button. Portrait mode works great although isn't very accurate with edge detection. AI mode recognizes up to 8 different scenes and enhances images from the device with impressive results every shot. The AR lens feature lets you use 3D AR objects with the rear camera or use effects and backgrounds with the selfie camera. 3D Qmoji is similar to Apple's Animoji feature. You have six different characters that mimic your head movements but aren't as accurate as the Animojis. Video recording maxes out at 1080p and you can record in 30 or 60 frames per second. Footage will be shaky due to the lack of stabilization unless you use a tripod stand. Overall, you will be pleased with the cameras on this device. As for benchmarks, I put the Nova 3i through a couple of benchmarks and scored 131,622 in Antutu, as well as 1,580 and 4,887 in Geekbench 4's single and multi-core tests respectively, putting it at par with the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S7. The Huawei Nova 3i is a beautiful, capable and averagely affordable device, but you should know that it comes without water resistance capabilities. The Nova 3i is made of glass so it will be wise for you to slap on a protective case to protect your investment. In conclusion, you should be totally satisfied with this device if you choose to purchase it. It's meant to compete with phones like the Infinix 05 and the Techno Phantom series and it's definitely going to give those devices a run for their money. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I build up new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.